Hey guys, today I'm going to be refinishing our dining table and these chairs that I just recently picked up from the thrift store. The products I will be using is a chiffon cream chalk paint and milk paint in the color proper with some extra bond. If you're not sure what extra bond is, I will be going into detail later on how to use milk paint and the benefits of extra bond on certain pieces. So to get started, I'm going to be painting my dining table in this cream color. This table was a thrifted item I purchased a year ago for just 15 bucks, and I painted it with the same paint, just in the color linen white. And it has held up incredible, especially for being white. So I am all about this brand of chalk paint. One reason I love chalk paint is there's really no prep work needed. It should stick to just about any surface, and you can easily wet distress it if you're wanting your piece to look aged. Now we will be moving on to the milk paint. True milk paint will always come in powder form and you will mix equal parts powder with equal parts warm water. I mixed 3 fourths cup powder with 3 fourths cup warm water hoping that that would be the perfect amount for the three chairs and I had just a tiny amount left over. However, when in doubt, always mix less than you think. I know that's probably opposite of what you thought I was going to say, but once milk paint is made, there's a small window to use it before it will clay up and go bad. Even if you seal it, it won't last long. So I just wanted to give you guys that precaution. I don't want anybody mixing up an entire bag thinking that they could use it or store it for a later time because it will not work. Now for the extra bond. You definitely want this product if your furniture piece has a shiny surface or if you want a very clean painted surface, meaning you don't want any chippy or age look to your piece. That's kind of what milk paint is known for is it can give that really beautiful distressed look. I did want mine to chip but not uncontrollably, so I did mix in just a small amount. The rule of thumb is to mix one part extra bond with two parts paint. But if you're wanting it to be a little bit chippy but you still want it to stick to the surface, I would go with just a little bit of extra bond just I wanted to show you here how much I still had in the can after doing all three chairs and the table. A little bit of this goes a long way, so you really don't need much. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and got some helpful information if you're looking to freshen up some pieces of furniture in your own home. And like always, I'll have everything linked in the description box below. If you're new here and you like these kinds of videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.